So day 76, headed back towards trail from the fall of the end, walking down through Harpers Ferry. Beautiful, beautiful town. Very nice. Uh, but yeah, uh, well, I spent the night at the hotel, even though I wasn't planning on it. Uh, I got cleaned up, did laundry, got all kinds of town food and stuff, packing all the beer. <laughs> Oatmeal stout, my breakfast beer, so... Not as good as the oatmeal stout my son makes, but hey, it'll do. Uh, got a couple bananas, a couple oranges, blueberry muffin, and so forth in my pack. So we'll be eating most of that and drinking my breakfast beer uh, shortly on trail. Uh, anyways, yeah, it's going to be a hot day again, so it's going to be hot for the next few days. Uh, pushing 90. Uh, it's already heating up. It's only 8. I uh, meant to get it back out on trail earlier than this, but you know how it is. <laughs> get into town and stuff. Uh, good time goes by so quick. Uh, so many things to do. But anyways, we're back. Well, not back out on, on trail quite yet, but we're headed that way. So anyways, yeah. I'm going to wander on down, see how many miles we can get in today. Uh, be kind of glad to get out of the West Virginia, Maryland area just because of the no stealth camping thing. Uh, always kind of messes with, with your day when you have to be at a certain spot at the end of the day. But, uh, but fortunately this section isn't very very long. We should only have one or well, a couple nights probably in it. So. Anyways, we're going to wander on down through and see what we can get done today. So we're going to be going through the mountain here. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Okay, a little disappointed we're not going through the mountain. We're going to go around it or something, but <laughs> that tunnel there. It says 1931 Harper's Ferry train tunnel. Look how flat this is at the moment. <laughs> Could make some good time if it stayed like this for a while, but I know it's not going to. Ah, beautiful little walk along the river. Just as flat as can be. Must be an old railroad bed or something. But uh, take this for a few miles, that's for sure. Uh, like that ivy on the tree. That looks cool. Goes all the way up there. Yeah, I finished with the flat section, unfortunately. <laughs> so I decided to sit down here and lose a little pack weight before we started up this big uphill. So uh, eating the banana. And uh, then I've got uh, my breakfast beer, which is uh, Sibling Revelry Brewing uh, Mocha Oatmeal. So oatmeal and coffee. That's a breakfast beer if I ever saw one. So, Anyways, yeah, going to sit here and enjoy this for a couple minutes, and then we'll start on this uphill. There. Well, that wasn't too bad. Uh, guy back at the ATC Center said that was going to be the toughest climb for a while. And yeah, wasn't bad at all. I mean, I worked up a little sweat. <laughs> it's hot and humid out. Uh, it's not bad at the moment. It's heating up all the time. But yeah, get that out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> Someone asked me if I was going to do the four state challenge which if you're not familiar with, uh, basically you start off in Virginia, towards the end of Virginia, right on the border, go through uh, uh, West Virginia, Maryland, and end up in Pennsylvania all within 24 hours. <laughs> it's right around 40 miles, something like that. I'm not sure the exact mileage, but yeah, screw that shit. <laughs> uh, but yeah, a lot of people, or quite a few people do it, but... Uh, good for them. <laughs> I won't be, I obviously didn't partake. 
got a sea of ferns. I can't remember if I said we're out of West Virginia or not, but we've been out of it for a while. As soon as we crossed the Potomac, we're now in Maryland, so. Uh, another state down, just a short one there, but uh, hey, they all count. Beautiful day out, a little, little warm, but we got breeze today, which makes a huge difference. It makes all the difference in the world. Trail's been just like this for the longest time. It's beautiful walking. <laughs> Uh, can make some pretty good time on this type of stuff, that's for sure. Just a little short side trail brings us down to this Gath's empty tomb. Late 18th century, uh, but never used. I can't see in there very good. Yeah, I don't know if you could read that uh, little plaque that was next to that tomb back there, but basically this guy had that built about 20 years before his death there, wanted to be buried there, but apparently he went broke and ended up <laughs> getting buried in some cemetery someplace. And it said uh, this mostly symbolizes the uh, uncertainty of life and wealth but the certainty of death so <laughs> yeah hey, that's true yeah it was really good trail magic a couple guys uh grilling off hot dogs a bunch of beer and soda and stuff so very good Well, it's 3.30, <laughs> early still. Uh, in one mile, there's a campground with showers and all that stuff. Uh, if we stop there, I don't think it would be quite 20 miles, not that it really, really matters, but uh, it's just so early. Trouble is, uh, there's not an, another official uh, shelter or campground for another six miles after that and ooh, I don't know if I got six more miles in me or not today but uh, at the very least I'm going to stop there take a look <laughs> trouble is it's Saturday so probably the place is going to be packed I would think but maybe not we'll stop and take a look at it and make a decision then what I figured <laughs> little tent city down through there yeah I'm not staying there see if I can find some place else yeah heck with that place <laughs> supposed to be for backpackers only but yeah no everybody was up there freaking camp chairs set all over the place and everything else so I'm continuing on I'll find some place uh, yeah We'll find something. I'm not worried about it. It's only 4.30 anyway, so. Kept hearing explosions off and on all day, and I thought it was probably a construction site or something, you know, blasting. According to a guy back there, uh, <laughs> there's a Civil War reenactment going on <laughs> down here near, near the Washington Monument. Uh, not the one in DC, there's another Washington Monument just a little ways ahead. I uh, guess uh, they're firing off some cannon and stuff, so uh, maybe I ought to go camp with those guys. I think I'd fit in all right. Uh, actually, that was my specialty in the Army. It was 13 Bravo Field Artillery, so cannon crew member, so there we go. 
tape up my resume and see if I can tent next to those guys. Oh, you know how I like rock walls. Here we go. Something's been going after that tree pretty hard. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, they are 20 miles. I lucked out. <laughs> Happen to be going by this little campground here, and uh, it's actually not open to individuals. It's kind of a group setting, but uh, when the, the guy leading the group this weekend, uh, church group, he happened to be out there, and I asked him if there was any camping around, and uh, he says, oh, he says, set up here any way you like. He says, you're part of our group now, so <laughs> really lucked out. So I got this little spot here, and uh, he gave me a bunch of fruit and vegetables, and uh, invited me over for spaghetti dinner tonight so hey that's perfect really appreciate it so anyways uh beautiful day today a uh, little on the warm side but uh the train was very mellow so it, that was absolutely fine so anyways i want to finish getting set up uh thanks once again guys for watching following along commenting i really appreciate it and i'll see you tomorrow